started out thinking of you know building each unit kind of in my garage, in my parents' garage, and special order if someone wanted one, I'd build them one. That was my first goal, and the the manufacturing of it and getting a manufacturing s system set up and a distribution network set up. And I didn't really think about that before, but with you guys and the coaches and everyone, it really pushed me to do that, and I did it. And because sometimes you need someone to push you a little bit on the things you're scared about, and it and it helped me out. The judges give you a good recommendation, and also the coaches um, give you good ideas and change my business plan. Uh, now we have a slogan, uh, happy children for a happy future. Uh, we have a nice name, and also we finish with the web, with the business, and we have uh, now more than 10 customers. So we feel so excited and so happy participating in Startup Cup, because now the business is real. The dream is real, come dream, real really gotten a lot of great advice around honing our, our pitch and our business model and really building it into something that we can explain easily to others and, and communicate and I think that's a, such a huge part of the business model is communicating what you do and that's, that's been a real boost to us to really get that down to a, a very tight message and it's been really a great experience doing that. From talking to the judges right now, um, I'm able to be more specific and, and to know where um, the direction that I need to take and they have, I like their questions because they help you think how you're going to close gaps if you have gaps, how you're going to manage the different, um, the different needs of a business. Um, mm -hmm. So that helps me, it helps me clarify where I'm more suitable and where I would be better, what position within my company. And in some of the changes, the biggest one is hiring a CPA, getting on QuickBooks, um, getting familiar with my numbers, which is something that was extremely foreign to me. Taking the temperature of my business on a regular basis, you know, really being more systematic, actually seeing how many students, how many classes generated, how many dollars. So it's a much more systematic approach for me. Mm -hmm. It may sound really simplistic, but that's not how I worked before. So that has really been helpful for me. I think the biggest benefit of the entire process has been um, helping us focus on what's important. Uh, that's huge. So we tend to have tunnel vision when you you know start any business or are working in any business that you think maybe you're focusing on the most important thing, but y you know you you are overlooking so many important things that are going to help you grow your business, help you um, improve your business over time. Cause adapting to change, I think, has been the, the sort of biggest thing in my mind that. We've learned. And all these advices that you guys have given us uh, uh, really make us look at things in a different way. Like before we, we felt that we were limited because we didn't have the capital, we didn't have the money to invest into all this. But they suggested a lot of things that we could do with our money. And that's what we're implementing nowadays. And that is really helped us. I am um, overwhelmingly excited that um, I not only came in with an idea, but I'm leaving with a sound um, line of work to do and a sound process in which to get it done and to see my business not only become an idea, but actually come into fruition. The startup cup help are a lot because when we start, um, we don't start the business. We have an incubation business. And now we have the business and the business is grow up. And it's also because we give you a employed to other two peoples. So this is uh, incredible for us because we give you uh, opportunity to other people, help you his life with the economy. I see Peekaboo growing um, and see Peekaboo in more daycares. We just started a fundraising with a, a local um, daycare. I'm very excited about that. And it's, it's a daycare that has very good reputation. And I think that, um, I, more daycares can be open to to using my product. Well, I think I think you know as I said before, honing our pitch was was really we already felt going into this a key piece for us. I mean, we knew as we were going through this, we realized that that was something we really had to do. And and having gone through the, the finals round, it was neat to see how that changed the questions that were asked of us uh, from from the different business judges and really changed the conversation. Uh, which I think was what we needed to do. The, the questions were, were much more focused around uh, 
our business model and what, what it is that we're trying to accomplish rather than still trying to understand the model. I had the opportunity to um, work with several of the um, coaches and they have just been phenomenal through helping me with my financials, through helping me understand um, everything has to have a formality and, and be formal and, and uh, processed. And I'm really excited to be going out into my uh, first um, brick and mortar business and actually have a sound plan that's going to carry me through to my first five years of success. The whole process of it has benefited me because it makes me think. It makes me to think, think about not just the product that I'm very excited about, but also think about all the stuff behind it that makes a company successful. Push me to do that and find better ways, more efficient ways to create a expandable business. Thinking about myself in a different way as not just an artist but a business person, a business person with a creative business, nonetheless a business, and um, so one of the judges said, uh, so would you say that you've gone from being a dreamer to a business person with a dream? And I was like, perfectly said, perfect, yes, yeah, and that's huge for me.